Hey guys, it's Ashley Howard with Ashley Howard Teaches, and today I'm going to talk about two different math curriculums that we can compare, BJU Math and Horizons Math. So if you've never been to this channel before, would you hit subscribe and smash that like button? And you, this channel is all about homeschooling well, being the best mom that you can be, and living joyfully for Christ. So if you like that, I would love for you to subscribe and let us know below what math curriculum that you use and that you like. And if you'll put down I subscribed, I will be glad to answer any questions that you might have and I will always answer to the best of my ability. So let's get started. I will be doing a flip through at the very end. So stick around to the very last bit and I will show you these different curriculums. We'll open through and kind of look at some pages. I know that's always helpful for me. So let me start with my pros and cons of each. First, for Horizons Math. So I have taught Horizons um, Kindergarten Math. I've done Horizons First Grade, Second Grade Math. So earlier elementary ages, I will say I didn't start with Horizons Math. I start with a different program for my oldest, but now I've come to love Horizons. And let me tell you why. Horizons uses the spiral method. And so what that means for the spiral method is they don't stay on the same topic. So they don't do addition, 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 subtraction, subtraction. They, they go to different topics, which I feel like keeps the learner engaged. So I love that they spiral through the different topics. I know there's a lot of curriculum out there that doesn't do that, but for this one, I love it. And I love that it's colorful. I know some people say that math can be distracting, but I kind of need the color to stay engaged myself. So I love that about Horizons Math. So I would say that's a huge positive for me. It's a spiral method, it's colorful, but last, I think that is very rigorous. I love Horizons Math because when I put my child in front of Horizons Math, I know without a shadow of doubt that they're getting a wonderful education and they are learning so much. So if I do Horizons Math, I don't worry that they're behind. I don't worry that I've missed something. I know that they're going forward and that they're doing well. Now, negative is sometimes I feel like it's a little too advanced, especially at the kindergarten level. But if you have a child who's really excelling at math or you really want to feel like they have math and that's one thing you don't have to worry about, please go for Horizons Math. Now, if you feel differently and you want the more hands-on approach, slower learning, more fun, more hands-on, let me introduce you to BJU Math. Now, BJU Math, again, is colorful, and they go through different topics. It's fun. It's so cute. I love that about BJU Math. I love that it's Christ-focused, as is Horizons. I love that it is a good solid curriculum, but I will say it goes a lot slower. So where I feel like Horizons Math kind of presses the accelerator button and it does really well and we're kind of at a medium to high speed, I would say this is more my low speed. Now, I would put my four-year-old and do this for math, but would I feel really comfortable keeping my five-year-old, almost six-year-old in Horizon and BJU kindergarten math? I would really need a supplement. But if you're looking for a slower approach, I think this is a great curriculum. Now, I have not used BGU math in the upper curriculum, so it may catch up and just have a very slow start. And that's great. So I think that the negative would be that it's a little bit slower and it's not as rigorous, but it has some great hands-on material. So if that is something you're looking for, I think that's a great fit for you. So I will say my kids for 2021 will be in Horizons Math. Now, my older is using a different curriculum because we started her a little differently. And she is excelling in this curriculum and I will do a review on that one uh, next time probably. But I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick flip through of these curriculums so that you can tell for yourself if this is something that you would be interested in. So I will start with uh, Kindergarten Horizons Math. So for Kindergarten Horizons Math, I have book one here. And you see it starts out kind of simply with different cents, counting pennies, counting money. So it does sl start out slowly, but it quickly speeds up. We're tracing numbers, but then we're really starting to add by pay by lesson 28, we're starting to really get into adding. 
And as you see, we're gonna do numbers between numbers. We're going to do shapes. We're going to do money. Um, as we go along, it gets more and more rigorous. So now we're adding using Unifix cubes, which is great. So I would get my Unifix cubes out and I would do this math along with them. They have a great teacher's manual too. So I would highly suggest getting the teacher's manual. That is something that I've kind of skipped out on is teacher's manuals. But I've learned as I've been homeschooling my five kiddos for longer and longer that teacher's manuals really are important and they're helpful. So it took me a while. But see, as you can see, as we get farther down the line look we're doing 17 plus 0 10 plus 7 wow we're really getting up there and as it goes on and on we're getting more and more difficult and this is just book one there's a book two which don't forget that I did that one year I forgot that there was a book two and really had to scramble at the end um, there's a book two and it's even more rigorous so I will get that book out for you and show you kindergarten book two ah, hello <laughs> All right, so here's kind of a flip through of this one. We're doing numbers after, look, we're doing 71 plus six, what, in kindergarten? Oh my goodness, I don't think I did that in kindergarten. All right, we're doing time. We're doing complete the chart. We're doing skip counting. We are really getting into math at the kindergarten level. So I would feel highly confident in this math as I go along, knowing that my child is getting a great math education. Now, let's move on to um, I should have these out a little bit easier to see, to the math for K-5 BJU math. Okay, so I wanna show you these fun, fun little hands-on things. Look at this clock, look at the long hand. Look at this, this is so cute. So it has a clock, it has little animal cutouts. I mean, it is so sweet. I mean, I love that about BJU math. And we can kind of flip through and see. So I have these flippables in here. I don't want everything to fall out. <laughs> but look, we're getting down. Page 126, we're still doing four plus one, three plus one, four plus one. So as you can see, it's a lot slower. We're doing equal parts. It's a little bit slower on everything. So, and subtraction is, I'm dropping things. <laughs> uh, four minus one. So it's going a lot slower. Now, if that's something that you're looking for, this is great. It's slow. You can supplement with a lot of hands-on. Um, I like to use goldfish for adding. Kindergartners love that. Or even if you want to, Smarties candies. So I will have some math hacks later on. I'll do another video about math hacks and hands-on things that you can do to enhance learning. But I think that is so important, especially at the kindergarten age, to have fun hands-on. Make math fun as possible. Get out your goldfish, get out your M&Ms, add them, subtract them as they eat the M&Ms, get little teddy bears and add them to your tea party. Do fun things that will make it memorable. Now remember, when you're doing kindergarten, first grade, second grade math, it's so important to lay the foundation, but also to remember that you want them to love learning at the end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be doing more reviews, be doing more um, different hands-on learning ideas for you later on. So if you'll hit subscribe again, you will be updated with the next video that I do on reviews for math or math hacks and fun ways to make math fun. So hit subscribe, hit like, and let me know what your favorite math curriculum is and anything that, any questions that you have, and I will be sure to answer them right away. Have a great day and welcome to 2021.